food. I, um, no one ever brings food. You know what? I want to start by asking you. I don't know. Maybe Dimbo mm-hmm. will, uh, will, yeah. uh, will tell me if I can or not. You no, can I, ask it. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to know your. Uh, you guys seemed like you had a great time at Freeze. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Both of you. And you have a picture. I was just like checking, you know, preparing it a little mm-hmm. bit. And you have a picture with the stand of this guy who made a full graffiti wall. Oh, who was it? What's his Timothy name? Taylor. Yeah, Timothy it? Taylor. Yeah. Timothy what Taylor do you, what do we yeah. know about him? Do you know him? Yeah, I, know, I, mean, I, know, I know his son. Mm. That's about... Is his son an artist? Or? I don't I don't think so. I think mm. he works... Do, do I you know, know Timothy Taylor? Do I know? It sounds like... Isn't it a his bit? Son, yeah. His yeah. son, Cassius, dated Chloe. Oh, Cassius. Mm. Yeah, I know Chloe. I know Cassius really well. Yeah, what is Cassius? Have... Well, well, you're friends with Cassius? We should have Cassius on the pod. Well, then. yeah. Uh, maybe. He's a nice guy. He, yeah, he he's... And Chloe. He's yeah, really and... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. okay I'm not Do you gonna... like his art? It's not his art, I don't think. Yeah. It's... Um... Ah. Timothy's art. Timothy's yeah. Whose art is it's it? His son. Well, I know his yeah. son who works mm-hmm. there. That ah. was the link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah. uh, uh, uh. No, no. So but you think I like they had a... Too much of a good time in Freeze, you feel yeah, like? Yeah, I think so. I <laughs> wanted to know with them. You, yeah. Did you go with them? Felix was all... Uh, he used my pass to get yeah. in. Yeah, he, he actually was... I the, have uh, the pass, but I don't yeah, get invited. Yeah, I literally... My friend who owns the gallery, I asked her... Because, like, gallery owners become Freeze tickets dispensers mm-hmm. over that period. At yeah. some yeah. point, you posted. You're like, we had too much fun, so many parties. I'm like... I mean, yeah, there was... I actually got incredibly sick after it. And I was, it was like... It was birthday wish, yeah. so it right. wasn't oh. just Freeze. It was my third. Yes, it yeah. was happy, just... happy thirty. Thank it, you. Yes. <laughs> so it was. Well, it just it just wasn't it just wasn't freeze. That was so much fun that week. It was really fun freeze. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it was Benny's thirtieth birthday, and so I we just went to every absolutely single everything. Party, we had a birthday week, and it was week. Like yeah. I kept saying Gucci Gucci all the time. I you, said you it once. About <laughs> I said it once. Yeah. Then Rod, I was he was like, "Have you been to Ladbrook Hall?" And I was like, "No, I was at the Gucci." By like, the way, oh, she, and... she's big on Ladbrook Hall. It's a new place in yeah. Notting Hill. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I live off Ladbrook Grove. Mm-hmm. And I go past there every day, but I haven't been to an event. Oh, your birthday come there. on. It's yeah, so I, nice. There's a vibe. Yeah. Do you a member there? Around to doing yeah. it. So you don't have to be a member. Do you no involved member. there? You don't have to be a member. Mm-hmm. Huh? She's involved. involved. You're involved. Yeah. Uh, um, I am actually involved in anything that's on the pulse, but like not, you know, on, on the, the pulse, cultural on the pulse. pulse. On the pulse. Cultural the pulse. pulse. Any pulse. On the pulse. 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 Right. What yeah. did I, I say? pulse like the election. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Pulse. I was going to say those are coming up soon. You better get ready. They're going to Coco tonight. You should just uh, oh, show up. Yeah. Do you want to come? Oh, you're not yeah, there. Yeah, the doing... Halloween. It's Halloween. Do you know what I'm doing? I'm doing. Um, you're d- d- getting dressed. Alejandro, Lady Gaga outfit. So everyone yeah. has to dress up as Alejandro. Lady no, Gaga? it's no, just it's me. It's but boring. I have to have the best outfit. Ale Alejandro, Ale yeah, Alejandro. Yeah, yeah, that one. I wanted song. to go as a cat. Uh, comment dire the cat woman. Cat woman or yeah. cat person? Yeah, yeah. I have an outfit, and I'm like, mm. do I do it? Don't I do it? Yeah. There's I a mean, movie. everyone's yeah. either going as a cat or a mouse. I think. Oh, so I'm not doing it. Why? Because it's just easy. Oh. I, I feel go like... as Cruella then. Yeah, Cruella's a really good one actually. <laughs> There's a movie are you called going? Cat Person. No, yeah. I okay, go on. No, you're I, talking. Uh... Yeah, go ahead. Pardon. Oh, no, no, oh. sorry, no, no. So I... what are you doing tonight, Felix? I know. I decided that I'm just not doing anything to. But you said movie. you can suss He's any party come. in 30 I'm seconds not, or less. I'm not. Honestly, Did he? I have... Did he? Yeah, you said you can suss any and this. this... No, no, because I'm not going to be There's doing that. There's the bloody rave. There's the bloody rave tonight. If I were to be going to things, there would be lovely things to go do. But I just last since getting back from summer, I've done like. You know, there was the fashion weeks and there was freeze and Benny's birthday. And I just came back from Amsterdam for Amsterdam dance event, mm-hmm. mm. the biggest electronic music event in the world. And it's just so you almost back collapsed. Back. And yeah. yeah, I was just I was just like, no, I need to come back to London and just like not give a shit about things and not yeah. give a shit about yeah. who's at what thing and going to freeze I and going understand. to like fashion weeks. It was just a bit mentally exhausting Tired. and emotionally exhausting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so I came back and I'm actually going to Dublin on first thing on Sunday to morning. To a party in Dublin? No, an <laughs> artist that I manage, uh, Gregory, who's actually okay. someone that Ben's worked with. Oh, the 3D with. art guy. Yeah, yeah, Greg, he was, yeah. He, he was at the... the, the uh, he was the, in the Coco Talk. You know the talk in which we went, the guy with the jacket? Him? The guy with the big jacket? Yeah, the AI artist. Art. Yeah. That's, my, that's who I manage. I really like him. And we have basically a sold-out show at the 3 Arena, which is like the O2 version of... Well, so um, what is he, is he performing? That's very important. And doing... the, I mean, basically, there's a big band in, or duo mm-hmm. uh, in Ireland called uh, Belters Only. That like the biggest DJ. Belters? Belters. 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 All right. Only. And basically, yeah, they're massive there. They're a sold out yeah. show and Greg has done mm-hmm. all of the AI production yeah. mm-hmm. all of the visuals nice. bit, all song all beat matched mm-hmm. and um, yeah their managers a guy called Ian who I am yeah. working on another project with this new label you, I'm still, you, you, still, you have an ability to dis, uh, know if a party is bad in 
10, yeah, definitely. 10 seconds or definitely. less. When you go, once you go, honestly, you can suss something out in 15 seconds, I promise yeah. you. Like, you know, you just, you just, yeah, yeah, me and Ben, we, we'll, we'll okay, go somewhere together, I, I we'll will, just look at each other will, and be like, nah, yeah, I will like, leave nah. somewhere. <laughs> I feel like the you, height. It's um, stained the eye, yeah. I think. If you leave somewhere, sometimes you know if a party is bad, you're going to walk out. Or? You know, you said something, I think I was listening to a podcast mm. or something, an interview, you said sometimes it's, it's more fun to go to the party mm-hmm. and once you're inside, you're like, okay. It's boring, yeah. Yeah, it's boring. The line, I'm, I'm the ready line to go. outside is when you can express yourself. Yes. People well, no, have no. to listen to you in the line. Yeah, I like no, that. The, the thing is with Halloween mm-hmm. and pre-organized events. Yeah. You New like, Year, like Benzie Christmas. Benzie Benzie no, 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 but oh. anything that's pre-planned, right? right? Yeah. Okay. You then have a preconception, yeah, of what that event's going to be like. Mm-hmm. And, sorry, I just took a kind of a donut that's such a bad time. No, no, it's okay. But if you have a it's preconception fine. of what it's going to be like... <laughs> mm-hmm. The polar opposite of that is just having a random night where, and those are generally the best. In my opinion, yeah. the random nights, mm. like just anything randomly happens, it's because you have no preconception of what it's going to be like. So I you just do all these random the things end. and you're running around London yeah. rather than having that, like, oh, it's Halloween, we have to dress up, or it's New Year, we have to be somewhere with, with our friends. Mm-hmm. There's just pressure on it, and then you think yeah. about it, and then that you get hyped about it, and it's good, yeah. and then it never actually lives up to it. You know? The party yeah. you think I is going to be the good one it never ends up being the good one. So you always end up going elsewhere anyway. Yeah. So the Gucci wasn't as good? No, it was crap. Oh. Yeah, because the exhibition I mean, downstairs was cool. Yeah, the, the actual party downstairs was shit. For me, it's about the people who are in the room. I, yeah. You could be anywhere. I could be in a fucking box. Yeah, it's like a mid, be mid, with mid, the mid house. I'm going to be a little bitch, but, like, yeah. no, but the exhibition downstairs, yeah, was, they did well. They did well. And that's mm. what it's about. So in yeah. that way, I enjoyed mm. that part. But just I thought it was going to be like... I was it's an, the 180? Yeah. It was Friends in of us have like space, who were yeah. in fashion have done similar mm-hmm. events with yeah. big budgets before and have been so much cooler. Like mm-hmm. honestly, like people always ask me, "Are you coming to the party?" And even if I'm not going, I'm gonna say I'm on my way. So they go anyway because otherwise they're disappointed. Ah. I lie saying I'm on okay. my way because yeah. if I say I'm, I'm gonna stay home, so then they won't go out. Yeah, really. You know so you I mean? want they them to have a good time, go. even if yeah, they're like, "Are you coming? Are you coming?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm coming. Just go. You don't need me." I think yeah, need people, I think need people, people. Need, people need a leader and you yeah. are that. Nick, Sometimes you know. I, I let people in and then I leave as soon as they got in. Yeah. I like the line mentality and like the... But if yeah. you, yeah. Smoke, do you like, do you the, like the, smoke the power of getting The, the negotiations. Oh, you like the negotiations? Yeah. I've flopping. never known anyone like the <laughs> That's negotiations. That's my uh, highlight of the night, negotiate <laughs> with the doorman. I want to be the doorman, by the way. I both think really? it's, similar to it's a, a powerful things. job. You'd be yeah. really so good. How do you, even if I'm a doorman for Felix's birthday, so like, how do you know Felix? Who are you plus one, minus one? On the well, he is very good at the list. I mean, one of my favorite stories about you, actually, which I do explain this. I'm not too sure if like Thank you. much is known to the public about this one. But at the time of the Serpentine Party, which is kind of like one the of the summer, the, the, the summer yeah. do, which is like some big team party, which this is one. very expensive to get into yeah. and blah, 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 was one of the one of the founders of the submarine that went to the Titanic oh, yeah. was invited at the time to the party. Just when he went. Just when he went was at the same time. Back. So you used his name yeah. to get it, the party, which was at the time the biggest like meme event of the year so yeah. far. You know what I mean? Everyone was ha- talking Hamish about Harding. it. I used Hamish's name. You used his name yeah, to get yeah. in. And I just he would have wanted that someone. Fucking did he, how did you know? He, he was, was going to come, was gonna come back. You know he He's always on the list. He's like a famous explorer. The submarine always invites him. He's a submarine explorer. He was going to come back. I think that's like iconic. He didn't make it. I would have wanted someone to use my name if I I was stuck on a submarine <laughs> to get in with my name. Yeah, I always not? give my par- invite when I leave a party to people standing outside. Really? So they can be me. Yeah, but take up the yeah, wristband. Does anyone do paper like, take invites up the wristband anymore? Or something, you know? Yeah, but I give them my details, my JPEGs. Yeah, oh, yeah JPEG. but unless you have a wristband, it's true, you can't. You just like, I've got stuff. Because yeah. yeah. if uh, you'll yeah. get in anyway, because you're you, and it's cool to give your invite to somebody else to be you. Yeah, yeah. that's More cool. Win-win. Like, you know? Yeah, win-win, that's cool. It's yeah. a good strategy. When, it's kind of whenever I... Sorry for Ben. For no, it's fine. But okay, Felix, saying, yeah. Whenever I, a friend of mine throws a party or throws an event, you know, and they'll generally by the... Very, especially at the beginning and the middle, mm. you know, part of it, they're, ne- they're not actually enjoying the party. You know what I mean? And they're just stressing yeah. out about it. And I always go to them, hey, look, just like look at all of these like developer, like uh, friendships developing, people meeting each other, mm-hmm. that their first time experience meeting each other yeah. is going to be here or friends having a good time. You're creating this happiness and this like cool connections right now. Like mm. even if you're worried about it, look around you yeah. like maybe there's like 40 percent or 50 percent of the people capacity there and they're still mm-hmm. the night's still gonna go on but you know there's always this point where you're freaking out about your own party and it's just yeah. like not like you're doing it's like business cards just my name you've seen that it's good for parties without an email nothing because nice. people can just dm you nobody's gonna call me yeah. anyway just a name <laughs> i mean i guess yeah yeah you should go get yeah. some 50 yeah. euros well, you, you yeah. could have like a hat with a dispenser yeah, you know yeah. i mean or like you, i mean you like yeah. you love a hat you love or a your hat. ig page i think it's important mm-hmm. have you seen the uh qr codes as well they're quite good you like QRs? Yeah, I do. 
Do you like QRs? I don't like really touching. I hate QR menus. I don't want to touch the laminated menu. It's disgusting to me. Yeah. yeah you're, I've QR. noticed. Yeah. You, you don't like touching. I don't touch the doorknobs. Yeah, I use no. my code. Is that yeah. like points. a superstition thing? I just don't want to... Then I touch my face and then you can get like... <sighs> I know. That's, that's the thing. Mm. I have yeah. to... I, I use line bikes all the time now. Right. But when I, I cover my hands for line when bikes I just, yeah. when I, I ride. I have to have an anti yeah. Like... It's yeah, just, it's crazy. Sometimes you see your sorry, sometimes you see your hands and they're all a bit like dark and grey and just like you're yeah. just you just like. Ugh, do you, you touch know. coins? I don't you, touch yeah. coins actually, but I tend to cash remember cash what was the, no. I mean, we don't use cash on coins anymore, mm. but I tend to from long time ago use like a sleeve. Mm. You know, I oh, always yeah. cover my hand if I need to touch anything, yeah. and I am known. I shouldn't be saying this and here. I am known not to close any bathroom door in public spaces. Just keep it open. Really? I don't yeah. touch anything. Yeah. <laughs> I don't touch anything. I, I do it. It's so weird. Yeah. Sometimes I kick the door and, mm -hmm. and I'll, I mean, whatever. If someone's trying to come in, it's like. You're just like, come in. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, sorry. <laughs> No, and then I, yeah. it's weird. I, I never touch anything in the toilet. I use the napkins to get the voilà. door. You just wash your hands. Obviously, you don't want to. No, I yeah. do, I do. Yeah. But yeah. I'm and saying, saying my legs, to yeah. close the door and open the door, yeah. it's weird. Also, contactless payment supposed to be contactless. People keep touching the card in the machine. Yeah. It's disgusting. But also, on the I cube. noticed that you don't, you do you not do handshakes. I do well. elbows. Mm. I do elbows. Yeah. Yeah. And that was something which happened over yeah, COVID. Yeah, still the other day. Yeah. yeah, and you still do fist yeah. bumps. I thought COVID like would change us, but people went back to handshaking. Well, it because people don't like buffets anymore. That was something Who likes buffets anyway? I don't like buffets. No, Unless I don't know. No one likes yeah. a nice hotel yeah. in the morning. Like, you know what I mean? In the morning, yeah, with someone died died yeah. before Only in the morning. COVID. Like, no. these are things that people used to do before COVID that just don't happen anymore. But it's back. Buffets are back. Because they? they don't want to hire waiters. I, I wouldn't breakfast. go anywhere that serves a buffet. But I no, but yes. also yes. airport lounges, yeah. they have buffets as well, Perfect. which is, a, you know what I mean? But some lounges, some do have sit down if it's like, <sighs> first yeah. what did you mean to say? No, I just wanted to say, but also us being too careful and afraid of each other. I mm. mean, I don't mind handshaking. I don't mind yeah. kissing, but that's the French part of me. Like I, because I think if we protect ourselves a lot from each other, we become too, too... Bubbled. Yeah. Yeah, we have to exchange bacteria. Yeah. Honestly, True. we a have little. to exchange little a little, a little, a little, a little of, you know, a little of things. Did like... you exchange bacteria recently with someone? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. You know what I mean? I mean like we're sitting in a closed <laughs> yeah. room, you know, we're still exchanging. Our, I, yeah. I, I, I sound too biological here. Yeah. But don't, yeah. you, don't you agree? I mean, I mean we look, too... it's inevitable. I... We live in a city and we are people who go out a lot. Yeah. There's going to be... But there's the worst situations. I mean, like no. I go daytime to Chiltern. By the way, I sit there all day in Chiltern Firehouse. Really, more than I do nighttime. Really? So, yeah. Yeah, I prefer to. Is it busy in the day? Aziz Ansari sits there I've writing. The day. People use it as a wheel. No, in, in the garden, it's, a it's okay. In the yeah. garden, it's quite nice. I know. Yeah, yeah, that's the whole vibe. People night. spend the whole time in Chilton yeah. Street. Like Isaac Benningson I, wakes I, up and yeah, down Chilton me, Street literally. all day. Yeah. Yeah. I am liking it more now that Chilton, you, you reminded me there yes. because I used to go and it's just more central than Coco. You just like come in and out, do things, you know. Smoking section is happening. I don't smoke, but it's so cool. Thanks for showing me this. Smoking section, people go there without smoking it's like a new york it's so, alley it's so the cool. children's it firehouse smoking clever. section and they have yeah. another yeah. feed that they close there's like it's just tunnels. interesting that my yeah. interesting thing about it is is like mm -hmm. no other venue has like kept it, it being kind of like generally cool for, mm -hmm. for yeah. a long period of time like my flatmate michael when i was living in london for a few months in between my bachelor's and my master's he worked yeah. he worked that and this was like 2012 2013 like and it was like popping then it's like mm. there's, i don't think I there's think any other like, establishment and like yeah, that's what it's it. consistently yeah. been the yeah. most basically because when you go out you want to meet new people so people, people won't go to in and out you know what I mean? the smoking right. section is to meet strangers but but like i think i think it's the people aspect, and also because it's a lot of the hotel guests children. i think that's mm. make it interesting yeah. because you don't want to hang with people you came with you don't yeah. want to meet people you already came I with just, you yeah. want to Leave them in upstairs. Go down the smoke section. Meet new people. <laughs> I've never seen yeah. anyone actually. I've been a couple yeah. of times since we met. All night the smoking section. I, it's all night. But also uh, something I don't like about it is the fact that there are, there's a camera. I'm like, come. Camera on. in the smoking section. Yeah. Oh, you mean the CCTV? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I also the, CCTV. The I thought you were talking fire about the well. fire yeah. thing. No, no, no. Apparently. You know I, that? The I fire thing. The Marco Bambila installation. Yeah. Yeah. Page yeah, six yeah. just wrote about it. Someone someone switched off the fire alarm. I yeah. Yeah. Someone actually was so like so like fucked up. 
they left. It was Max. They the, it was but why the is CCTV demon. everywhere? I mean, honestly. They want to record uh, good times with Rose yeah. McGowan. <laughs> and <laughs> and like I'm, seeing Ro- I'm, seeing, I'm seeing Rose yeah. in a couple of weeks. At the Coco, I mean, the right. vinyl room, lots of naughty things it's happen. Exa- yeah. Well, that's and what they're You need some, they want, yeah, you yeah. want some friends. Felix is best friend with Lottie Moss. I want to interview Lottie Moss in the firehouse smoking section. She's a very close friend of mine, but I would... Very best, okay, close friend, yeah. But She makes more money than Kate Moss, I think, from only Probably, probably she does. No, she is an absolute sweetheart. I love her to death. She, yeah, you know, she is the, lovely. The news just t- has a completely just like hor- like just this thing a thing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and it's just not. She's the most lovely, kind-hearted, she's misunderstood m- person. She's and Kate Moss's sister. You told she's me, on yeah. OnlyFans, she, which is a platform to make uh, money, money from subscribers yeah, 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 yeah. from pictures. She's, on the, yeah. she, looks, use, yeah. she looks very pretty. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I mean, different, you know, kind of pretty, but she mm. looks very pretty. Is OnlyFans still happening? You think? OnlyFans is blowing yeah. up. I met a guy. I met a guy in Ibiza, right? Um, and uh, I'm a fellow part of the tribe, actually. Right. Well, well, and he's he basically he's created a. Um, I'm not going to go into it um, right. with his name, but you can research it if you want. But basically, okay. he's created a AI platform mm-hmm. for OnlyFans girls. So basically, how actually these OnlyFans people who make a lot of money, how it really works, okay, is that you don't necess- And this is not all people, mm-hmm. but a lot of a lot of influencers who have the money to spend on it mm-hmm. will get someone else to reply to the messages, and they'll have right. pre-recorded messages. You know what I mean? A voicemail. Mm. voice messages they, they the person who you're applying to on OnlyFans okay, AI for DM. is actually and he basically he mm. has done an AI platform mm-hmm. but also with the voice you know what I mean so whatever the mm. person asks they can use that voice so the girl now doesn't have to pay this right. person like a you know a person to reply to the actual mm. physical person what about the actual you post know? on OnlyFans can the AI well, then they have do to, the post they, they have to do a, 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 they'll basically just have to do less photo shoots right. because then they can use AI to amend the ones they've already done so there's always going to have to be some content being made the clients but just, pay for DMs like customers on OnlyFans they pay I for actually, DMs I've never I'm logged subscribed. in to it, and surprisingly, I think it's a violation. It? Yeah. No, my, my fr- I have quite a few friends on OnlyFans, and I feel like it's a violation of our friendship forever to look at it. I honestly think no, that. No, but look at other people. No, exactly. no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would not. I, think... I, I just, you, is it you? Like, no, you dive I into think, a hole of it, I, and I'm like, I, oh, no, I fam, think no, OnlyFans like... is better than watching porn because at least an OnlyFans. Yeah, that's true. Support you're someone. supporting that's... the creator. Okay, okay, fair enough. But like, that is actually no. Okay, okay, I get you, I get you. But like, obviously, you don't want to go onto like Lottie's page. No. Oh, that would be that's a violation, man. <laughs> that like that's a violation. Like, how, how naughty does it get on OnlyFans? I've never well, always can yeah, any, you anything. Can find do anything. So multiple I mean, like multiple he's, people. He's it's not the individual. I swear, yeah, yeah, yeah. my to life. I swear, yeah. I swear, I swear, I swear. Have you been? Are you subscribed OnlyFans? Have you ever paid? I mean, I've been on it. I'm not gonna lie. Whose pages you checked out? I've just like you know well, had like, a look around. It is trying to transition. It's quite interesting to see who's on there. Lottie is is maybe I should. But it's very close friends with the CEO, and she's a mm. she's a she's a she's a woman actually as well. It's a British thing. Um, it's based in Shoreditch on the fans, by the way. But in this one, yeah, I, I yeah it's, a, it's a UK but, company. But I, I, I don't know. But they're I'm trying to divert divert yeah. not only just upon sexual content. Like it did start in that, isn't an intention. They want to be like LinkedIn. But no, but it's just like for example, if you want to, you know, on YouTube, for example, <laughs> yeah. YouTubers, you can LinkedIn kind of donate. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can donate to them and get early content and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. It's that, but people are just using that platform who are not necessarily. Sexual doesn't Lottie want her content. own because she has to pay a percentage to OnlyFans doesn't she want her own Lottie fans website not OnlyFans I think, there's some, I think some big things are happening with Lottie soon so yeah. I can't say anything okay. but okay. I think she's got some cool okay. shit going so it, on so. it empowers the person who wants to be in the field yeah. well, you exactly, don't have yeah. you know you don't have like the whole team around them that take money and, yeah. and, you know, and that's why yeah. I think it's amazing for Pussy Riot content creator. a huge yeah. on OnlyFans yeah. Pussy Riot made so much on yeah. OnlyFans yeah. Yeah. but so it's also it empowers the person it's a lot of a lot of celebrities like the biggest I, I I did see an article recently that mm. the like a lot of the the biggest earning content though, which is like in the 15, 20 million pound range, you know what I mean? Is all people that were have Famous. transitioned into OnlyFans. They've never built mm. up through OnlyFans mm. or even or even Instagram. It's bitch people who are like, for example, Bella Throne, Bella Black China who right. dated one of the one, yeah, one of the Kardashians before, or something yeah, or like one of the, the you know what I mean like yeah like some rappers like she's making like 15, yeah. 20 million you know what I mean because she was in the public eye you know what mm-hmm. I mean like that's how that's how you do it it's very difficult to yeah. go in from anything you it's need passive to leverage income it. in a way passive yeah. income is how you want to make like, money no online. actually I that's think mad it's, money. I think they work for it they work I mean, yeah but yeah I think you know yeah. there's a kind of but, yeah. Sub- but subscribers work, yeah true artistry they have to provide content but I mean the subscribers pay anyway every month I believe but they're paying for content aren't they you still have to keep it up or they're gonna like Sometimes people forget it's they like subscribe. No, is this character? Would you do it, it, Ben? Would you do an OnlyFans? I pass. <laughs> I would do? because yeah. I saw you're very ex- you're but, very extrovert. Yeah, extrovert. I am. But yeah. I have a 
I would worry about basically the wrong thing the wrong thing being permanently on there oh, right and mm-hmm. also, it doesn't come up on google though whatever yeah, is on there i guess not but it could still but someone if you want to look it off if you want to look into it you know what i mean if you're into 4chan and 8chan and yeah. kind of like more they stuff save that, the whole pages and stuff yeah. like this they, they, they like you can go yeah. into the anything anything's on the dark mm. web so like it's so well, easy well that's the thing like the minute you put anything up there that's yeah. it it's done like it's up there permanently mm. for the world to see i'm not ready to take that step and but you're a lawyer as well. i completely respect that as well you can you say it's a professional lawyer you know and but i completely respect anybody who you can say it's AI, that yeah. the content is not really you that put it well, out. Well, exactly. I could say it's a deep fake. Yeah. Deep I, throat I, I, fake. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, somebody... Uh, with yeah. a guy with a six-pack. I didn't make that. Yeah. You should, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are, you, are you a performer? I, tell kind me more of, about I you. run a series of queer events, basically, in members' clubs and kind of hot spaces. It's kind of... Yeah. You can describe it as a... As a name for the event? It's a queer frequency. Is that queer frequency? Premium it's game. It's elevated <laughs> nice. queer. Yeah. I, and I started it mm. about 10 months ago with uh, my best friend Maxine who is a trans icon you can mm-hmm. really describe her as she's incredible right. and I met her a year ago and I said to her hey do you want to do this and she was like yes that's great and it's got a focus on trans performers as well which is kind of not being done in London and what do you mean it's no? I don't think a lot of if you don't want in a Legos club, by the way, if you don't in the We're thinking... Coffee. Well, no, we... Yeah. Th- I, 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 yeah. When I was younger, so, yeah. I used to go to Madame Jojo. I don't know if that's... Mm. Exactly yeah, you know I used it. to go you know to Tranny yeah. Shack. Yeah. Even though that... Tranny Shack, yeah. You can't even use so that word there. anymore. That's how old it was. Like Chic Shack? Um, yeah, you well, should probably... Don't talk about like, age now. But I mean... I was a student. I mean, it doesn't have For me, I went like 10 years ago and it was the first time I went out in drag. It was like an iconic moment for me. And those... it existed. Those places closed down and a lot of the the trans things have gone a bit more underground in East London. And at the moment, especially in the UK, I think it's bad it's quite bad politically for. Oh, really? so we feel like this is okay. you know a platform mm. for you know people to get their voices out there as well and a lot of the forms mm-hmm. are incredible felix so. you want to say something no i was yeah. gonna say i just think what's special it was what's special about what Betty is doing is that within the i mean i'm not queer so like i can mm. say this but my sister very much is and she's in full that disclosure world. yeah but um it's you know there's lots of you know queer nights but they're very there's not as many there's not something that's there be an occasional trans person within that lineup if it's a DJ or a music event, but it's mm-hmm. no actually trans kind of focus within the performance mm-hmm. range. Yeah. It's kind of queer over in general, but then queer today means so many different things. You know what I mean? Like, and, yeah. uh, it's, it's you know, and I don't want to go into that whole yeah. thing, mm-hmm. but I'm just saying, it. It, you know what I mean? Like, I, yeah. it's so like broad now. So yeah. I mean, this yeah. is we, kind of narrowing it down. We run the events for free as well, and the idea behind it is we ask the people that come yeah. to basically pay what they would for a ticket towards someone to get gender affirming care. Mm-hmm. So it's meant to be a meaningful. Event. Community work. I, it's exactly. It's almost like a charity. Almost like a charity. A charity. Is, and I think, and we're not just doing it. To mm. throw... How do you pick the people who would get the money specifically? Maxine has so many friends right. who and people are reaching of... to her as well. Mm. Outreaching, basically, she's like an icon because she. Yeah she's so well known she has so many friends who also can't afford to get yeah. the general people who look up to and also well. and people who look the, up to her the NHS has a really long waiting list mm. to transition yeah. and by the time you're allowed to get the transition or the puberty blockers or things like that you've gone through bodily changes that you can't reverse it's a bit late which yeah. makes it yeah. harder and yeah. private is really expensive and private and is private very expensive how much, how much is, is private it? Yeah, much is it? well it can cost like I mean I could be wrong, but mm-hmm. from what I've heard from my friends who have transitioned, it can be between 50 to 100K. Really? Which is kind of creates this the almost... The operation. Of yeah. The yeah. Hormones Everything. And, so you've got, yeah. you know, the hormones, obviously the um, bottom surgery, top surgery, mm-hmm. um, sometimes Other facial yeah. feminization. Yeah. Um, y- there's so many aspects mm. to it. Mm. And it creates this almost hierarchy of like, this person can pay for all of this stuff but this person can't and it should mm. it, i yeah. strongly believe it should be something that's available to everybody mm. Mm. um but for some reason 
you know, the NHS or the government don't consider it a priority yeah. right now. Mm-hmm. So we but even really Maxine, so moment yeah, Maxine well. and I have even spoken about maybe it goes far enough queer frequencies mm-hmm. to make it a healthcare thing as well. Yeah. So we can actually That'd help. Be so people. dope. Yeah. That would, yeah. Honestly, that would so be so sick. Actually, start that, raising that, money. That, so there is a lot too. of work behind it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So anyway, that's yeah. that's a bit about what I do. So. But we could do a section of people who maybe blocked you and you want to be friends with them again. Um, like Henry Hudson is an artist who blocked me and I really miss him. Yeah. We used to be really good friends. Yeah. He thought I was leaking stuff about him to the Daily Mail. Like yeah. when his best friend, Mark you? Queen, <laughs> they, they called me, but yeah, they I, never I, even I, 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 I have a, a really weakness. I have a weakness for gossip. So sometimes the Daily Mail. I know, I, I, know, I know. Yeah, <laughs> shocking. <laughs> but your gossip is thought. humorous, which makes yeah. everything lighter. And I you're like, quite blunt about it as well. I like your eye about it. You're not, yeah. you're not pretending like, you're not. You know, like, yeah. you're, you're, you're not pretending you're not. I've never hurt anyone. Yeah. Like uh, maybe I leaked something. What about, <laughs> uh, what about Philip Salon? <laughs> yeah, I miss him. I want him to unblock me. I miss Philip Salon. I think Philip Philip once blocked me. I got this. Artist Henry Hudson to paint Philip Salon and then fi- we Did put, you give him to him as a we gift? put Philip Salon on speakerphone and then Philip said something about Isaac Benningson. Then Philip found out that Isaac knows what he said about him, so he won't talk to me, whatever. Oh, and he blocks yeah. you But on social media. Philip himself is banned from the Victoria and Albert Museum because he jumped in the in this pond. Oh, is that why? He has a thing of jumping yeah. in. He has a thing of yeah. jumping into pools. I didn't of course, realize. I appreciate him being banned. I know the feeling. Sometimes you get banned yeah. for a few months. Yeah. It, yeah, it feels like a rejection, no? Yeah. yeah. But yeah. it means you're on the list. You, The blacklist is a list. The yeah. And you're on yeah, the yeah. You, Being banned That's is an honor sad. in a way because they know yeah. you. Everyone has to know you. Like, yeah. scandal, yeah. like scandal Every... for artists is an honor mm-hmm. because like yeah. you're in the... You're, You're somewhere. Every single staff member. Do you yeah. remember? Yeah, do you remember at the um, Fiona's opening of the night um, thing, and I got banned on the first day of it. Yeah. Opening. What was that? Which it was a few weeks ago. Oh. Do you know? Um, Isabella's really good friend, uh, Fiona, who DJs, and she does. Oh, yeah, like, she I does, did meet her. Yeah. She does for Gucci and all these things, you know. But she's yeah. like done the music creation of a new pub, which is a really lovely pub. How come you, you were blocked, banned? Well, no, from it's just she, Isabella had arranged for some like you know photographer person mm-hmm. to be there at the opening, you know, as yeah. one does, you know. Get the and image basically the photographer was just came up to me. BFA. And was yeah. just yeah, the affair was just mm. like oh like apparently you're like a bit you know a bit unhinged and I was just like no definitely not and then like yeah. then decided to like to jump from one table to the other oh. and just because I was just like, I was just like you know it's boring to see you know what I mean yeah he was like saying, saying take, some oh, saying, like, take some fun photos he's saying take some fun photos I'm just like yeah okay fine <laughs> and then just like then just the the bouncers just kind of just like took me out to the better they said the owner saw that and he took you at the back and hugged you the bouncer no no he he took he tried he took me out and said like you can't come back in and I and the owner was just a bit annoyed but they said they wanted some good photos before the event to promote mm-hmm. the event yeah. and like I, yeah. I was you yeah. know what I mean I was just like kind of mm. being fun mm. trying to just like trying to get yeah. some good content for them no, I think it's a show of character being kicked out of club yeah I've been kicked out of club yeah, you want to exactly. go anywhere so. you want to leave so. you, wanna, you, know you mean? need a like, reason to leave anyway yeah yeah. yeah. I mean yeah, like, you, you went mm-hmm. Vini Vidi yeah. Vici that's what yeah I exactly saying. you know what I mean like yeah. it's uh, you no, I hate I would hate to be kicked out no 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 yeah really yeah yeah I, I preserve my image, I preserve my, no, but I Decorum, mean, maybe, you know. yeah, the, you know, yeah, maybe, maybe I should, maybe I should it's, learn it's some actually, multi behavior. It's a very sobering experience. I really enjoyed it. It definitely puts <laughs> you in check. It's not, it's like an, it's, it like puts you in check. I remember you know being, I mean? like, yeah, you know. I've been kicked out a few times. Sometimes it's embarrassing. Did someone block you recently, Ben? I don't think I've on ever Instagram been blocked. Or... Oh, do you know what? Actually, yeah, 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 people have unfollowed me quite a lot recently. Publicly, over, telling everyone. Yeah. But... Over you know what. Um, I don't know, us. but... Uh, <laughs> no, sorry. No, I'm no, not no, even no, going to no, go it. there. Uh, poli- so, poli- <laughs> political. Oh, this is actually why yeah. yeah. it actually I mean, comes down to this. Yeah. Yeah. It has separated so many people. Yeah, yeah. it really has. It's ridiculous. I try to say, guys, I don't want to talk about it. Let's not, you know, let's not voice an People lose friends and alienate. I mean, I didn't post anything that contained contentious either but generally why do so many people have to post about the news they're not like a embassy No, yeah, yeah it's just it's, 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 it's all virtue signaling, yeah. and that's why I kind of want it's to emotional. take back about it. You know, it's so it's Instagram, like, Instagram is for pictures, not for public statements, black and white text, right? They but I feel, feel like it's meant maybe for that originally yeah. it was yeah, black I like and it white. like that originally, but yeah. I mean, they feel compelled to say something mm-hmm. as if everyone has a political opinion, and yeah. probably nobody gets it. Nobody yeah. understands. Yeah, it's because they've looked at a couple of infographics, yeah, and it's just too much of a nuanced situation in which you write if if you say anything these days, especially on this contentious subject you're going to offend someone just yeah. sheer like yeah. Occam's razor there's sh- a sheer amount of people in the mm-hmm. world and there's going to be some people who mm-hmm. take things too far and in the same way there's this conflict you know what I mean there's time there, you know it, people are, you know that's what yeah. it is you know yeah. what I mean and it's just yeah. like I've, I've done my grieving mm-hmm. I've, and now I'm just like 
I, I, you know, I'm supporting my friends in any way that I can, mm-hmm. but I'm not going to just be reposting these things yeah. or just, yes. and, and getting and so drawn into this because that's going to then people are going to reply. You yeah. know what I mean? And I just don't want to be in arguments it's with people. Draining. It's like people, my my friends and my family and my people who know me generally know about mm-hmm. like like you know that I'm yeah. a pretty chill mm-hmm. person. These yeah. you know what I mean? Like yeah. and I yeah. always understand on. both sides, yeah. but it's just like I just I don't want to be. Uh, but then. Your silence now is said to be something which is uh, yeah. can, can be. Maybe it's good to lose followers anyway. You want a better be ratio. Bad, you know what I mean. <laughs> you want a better ratio between following followers you divided. Clean up house. Yeah, that's you true. clean up exactly. house. You clean up house. Exactly. Yeah. Why not? Followers minus following divided by number of pictures. That's should, how you know I if you can get no it. Idea. I should work better yeah. at, on my Instagram you need the, page. The I think it's all about engagement, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You were getting like, married, getting engaged. Yeah, mm-hmm. though, that is exactly what I meant. No, yeah. I, no I think I think when it comes <laughs> no, to social post yeah. engagement, you know, because I yeah. I always like it's interesting to see. Mm-hmm. I I don't think I have like that. I don't have thousands of followers on TikTok. But... You mean? No, I'm mm-hmm. talking about Instagram. Oh, right. But like, I... <laughs> do you have TikTok? <laughs> I I look at TikTok on Safari. That's how old people do it. They open the link on the browser. Yeah, really? without no, but and you try. App. You don't want them to know your. Because if you go, info, go on TikTok, you forget why you got in there. No, I think the, ah. yeah. the important thing with social media, right? Yeah. And any and. I think both Instagram and TikTok, but more so Instagram, is yeah. that mm. it's 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 similar like a part. It's similar to like a party, right? Yeah. Like a party is not cool because how many people are there? It's mm. who's at the party. Mm. You know I mean, and it's, what's I, going I tell, on? Well, I tell this to the artists that I work with. You know what I mean? Who are going through mm. the stages of their their, their career? They're either you building name, their social media. You can name drop. Yeah, no, no, I'm anyway, just. What's okay. your, who are the well, artists you represent? Okay, don't say it. Don't no, say it, don't no, say it. no, no, it's fine. I, it's open. I just I work I work at a talent agency. You know what I mean? And we're set we're setting up a label basically. And you're advising them on social media and so well look I'll, I'll tell you so the, okay. why what's different about this label is the fact that we're, we're combining and featuring people who are already big on social media mm-hmm. from, from my talent agency who want to go into music with people who are mm. currently big in music and have good numbers on Spotify but want to big up their social media themselves because mm. that's how artists get brand, mm. brand deals like sure. money these days is through brand deals you right. know sure. so the thing is is that you don't actually have to have millions and millions of followers if you have you know as I, as I was going back to this dedicated followers who can yeah exactly it's like who you know you may have you may have 20,000 followers but you mm. have two, two or three thousand people yeah. who are in the industry that is way worth way more than mm-hmm. John yeah. from down the street or yeah. like Meryl sure. from blah 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 you know what I mean like You're anti-Meryl from blah 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 no no no, 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 no. Just, I was, I, no, I was just in Amsterdam. Oh, that right. was a good okay, popular yeah. name there. I just don't know why okay, I said that. Okay. But like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's not about how many followers. It's about who you've. Who but then you follows put you. paid partnerships because when you see paid partnerships yeah. on posts, mm. sometimes you don't want to like. Yeah, you know, you, you feel like, like you don't have to say it. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But do you do you specialize? Like, I know one artist you represent, but do you specialize in, in like no, AI so, or or what is the talent agency you're trying so, to build? So no, no. So I know I already work for an est- a very established uh, agency Company. already. They mm-hmm. are the fastest growing social media first. Say social Agency. first, yeah. Social first, but I was working for a music family before then and had a roster of my own that I that I um, that I managed yeah. purely musically. Sure. And when I got this new job at the agency, I did say, look, one part of my me being being here is yeah. that it ha- I have to have my old music roster still with me. And mm. so Greg, who is the musical director of Sketch, but also been in AI for five years that's why he was speaking at the AI event and mm. he also was a big part of the Jamie Jones crew he's like a massive guy at Burning Man like he's, oh, yeah. you know he when you see Man, yeah. when yeah, you see his when you see his aesthetic it's very Burning Man mm-hmm. and yeah. he is do, he's doing the AI he, he does music and DJ but also he's really amazing at AI and does all the and this is the guy that I'm going to mm. on Sunday Greg with dreams. Ireland he's, and Gregory yeah, Dreams Greg Dreams yeah, yeah. 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 yeah big up him honestly he's, he's, very, smart. he's very smart he's so fucking smart who else yeah. should we follow And then Albertina. Yeah. And then Just Albertina. Just recommend us people to DM. Who should we okay, DM? Okay, no. So Albertina Music is my is my main is my okay. main musical artist. She's okay. a uh, she's a singer. She's a DJ. She's, uh, amazing. she's a producer. Mm-hmm. She's a sit like she video video edits. She created creative directs. She's done this music video that's coming out soon. Uh, yeah. Sour Soursop. Look out for it. Is she on that, Wikipedia. She's not. She's not. But she's. I'm sorry. We booked her for Queer Frequency. Oh, she's very good. She's one of the, She can. Coming, what she yeah. can do is, is that she can mix up different genres mm-hmm. so yeah. well into yeah, the yeah, same yeah. set, mm-hmm. but do it so effortlessly that, mm. and with her knowledge of music, it just like it pair things that I would normally no, another DJ. I'd be like, mm. nah, yeah. that yeah. doesn't work. It's all in yeah. her mind. Okay. You know, and together. think of people you want to recommend to follow slash DM. Yes. I have one. Jordan Firstman. He did this movie, uh, Rotting in the Sun. 
It's yes, a movie yes, production. Yes, yes, yes. You have to yes. follow Jordan first, man. Yeah, no, he is hilarious. And yeah. He is so One good. He's like about one, a gay know. beach club in Mexico. It's a thriller. I think it. I follow him. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, first man. He does, yeah, yeah, yeah. He does he's, the interviews like if... Like, and he, yeah, 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 I know. If I was I a know. chair looking up, I was like, you know what, you know what I mean? And then does a really funny impression about yeah. what they would say and like this ironicness. But like, I'm going to tag him on this video we're doing right now. Yeah, yeah, no. Talking about him, Jordan first man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, my friend Andrew's very close with him and my ex-girlfriend is actually promoting the film of it in Australia. Yeah, you have to watch for an agency, Rotting right? in the Sun, shot in Mexico City, and this mm. other guy, and like mm. weird, weird thing happened. No, it's, it's going into cinema. Yeah. Like, well, it, he never basically what uh, it was on Muji, mm -hmm. and then it was only supposed to be on Muji, movie, and then movie, movie, movie. movie. So Muji, but Muji mm -hmm. should make films too. They should, they should. Yeah. Sorry, but on then they, it's gone into cinemas now. Yeah. In all, and uh, it's a movie original. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyone you want to recommend to follow? Um, immediately no. Please start. Okay, you you want anyone? No. We should DM culturally relevant no, but, I mean, people that you want to recommend. Yeah, Chris Hilton. Oh, <laughs> Completely fair. Right? But no, I'm, one of my favourite videos is actually What's when she point? went undercover at Tomorrowland. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that? Where was the undercover? At what? <laughs> Tomorrowland. Oh, Tomorrowland. She wore okay. a wig and no one actually knew. I thought you she said was... Mara Lago. No, no, no. Second. She yeah. was, uh, and no one actually knew it was okay. Paris Hilton because she was DJing there. Yeah. And there's this scene where she stood like watching all the fireworks mm -hmm. and this yeah. guy comes up to her basically asking yeah. for her number. She turns to him and is like, no, sorry. She was big in the NFT community and really? I guess exactly. yeah, yeah, in the yeah. beginning, at the beginning, yeah, she had a clubhouse. I mean, but I don't want to. I just can't. just finish it. No, but I can't you thought talk of when I eat. Because, yeah, no, but I mean, okay. when he said Paris Hilton, I yeah. thought that Whitney Spears is having mm. a moment, not that I need to. Yeah, true. You know, yeah, she's she, having she a moment has... with a book coming out. Yeah, and she got rid of her dad, who was controlling. And, and she's like completely gossiping yeah. about uh, a lot of people that uh, yeah. that was around with her. Mm -hmm. No, but I mean, culturally, you know, I do like to follow people who have a sense of comedy. By mm -hmm. like uh, commenting on culture yeah. Yeah. or on fashion, uh, there's an account called Crispino, Crispino, mm -hmm. and he does always like you know uh, twist. P I N O. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. twist the it's news. It's a meme account. Or it's a meme know. account, yeah. but mm -hmm. it is like for me, it's my news, my fashion news. Yeah, yeah. Like something. Sometimes you don't want to read every headline. Mm. So whatever, uh, whatever meme he makes, mm -hmm. I'm like, that's not bad. You he's know? a meme lord. And, yeah, he's a, no, but it comes as okay. it comes as news. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Good. That's and, and, good. And, uh, and a critique mm. at the same time. There's a London meme account, Socks House Meeting. Yes. Did yes. you think of it? Mm -hmm. uh, I know someone who dated that guy. He's a guy. He's, yeah. he's straight, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's straight. He is he's just been interviewed in Sunday Times. Really? It's really? It's called Socks House Meeting, and it's yeah. a POV. All the posts are like people. They had one of Philip recently. Did yeah. You see yeah. That? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but he writes so much on the image. It was in, so him in, the, in, the, in yeah. the Gucci, Gucci room. Party. In the room, yeah, yeah, yeah. He liked really the pictures of people in Dorston and loads of text on the image of what they're dressing Oh, yeah, POV. no, I saw was Reed on Socks it. Socks House Meeting. Reed was on it. Also, there's people like Raven. Yeah, yeah, read this. I think there's people like Raven Smith who are actual people and they turn their account into meme accounts because maybe they, mm -hmm. Raven didn't have enough content to post. He's a GQ writer, Vogue writer. Vogue, yeah. Ra yeah, I do yeah. follow him, I think. Yeah, yeah. interesting yeah, account. Yeah, we met him. So sometimes you don't have enough content. Which one? Uh, with Isabella. Raven. Oh, okay. Yeah, Sorry. Oh. No, 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 no. He's best with Julia Hobbs, you know. Yes. They're both Vogue people. Mm. Sid on, Sydney Vogue. Lima trying to. Transition to meme account. Some okay. people run out okay. of content, so they start posting memes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I get, I get, yeah, I know, I get. What on the saying. private, pub, I mean, okay, personal yeah. accounts, mm. yeah. Mm. Okay, anyone else? Uh, should mm, so many, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, what do you think I... of Getty Images? Like, why is there only one photographer in London, Dave Bennett? <laughs> That's interesting that you say that. Because in New Dave York, you're the man. only one. Yeah, you only Getty. Maybe you prefer the other service, AF something or BFI. BFI, isn't it? BFI. No, BF something. BFA. BFA. British film. BFA is lower level than Getty. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is, but like you know, it's all right. It's all right. I mean, you just noted. I think. Sorry, I was going to say. I think that if it ends up basically not actually promoting the service very well mm -hmm. because then it, if it's one person then people want to be photographed by him then it very much limits you if you go to the same if you're only going to the same events you know what I mean yeah. it's not exactly you're not having a broadcast of people because people are going to be like people who care about their image a lot going to be like oh I know David and be like that and getting yeah. pictures of him you know what I mean mm. it's like, and then you just Put end up seeing the same people you the whole Dave. time Maybe yeah. you just go to the whole of Getty Images recently for London yeah. type things you know what I mean like it would be the Lowe, same people the and yeah. you know what I mean like and it's just uh, I don't it's know, Lola you know. Boot and Daisy Lowe the whole time 
yeah, I'm not gonna but when yeah, you but anyway, I don't yeah. follow the girls. So I'm, the girl. yeah, I've, yeah, and Tish, uh, who's all Tish yeah. something, it's part of the girls. Mm. I mean, the Tish Weinstock, you mean? Tish Weinstock. She, yes. Yeah, I think these girls are really like the you know the 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 young cultural generation mm-hmm. and the fashion, you know. Yeah. And you see them walking a lot around Notting Hill. I'm like, you don't eat, ladies. You don't eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, that's why I bought Tona. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People, don't, people don't eat it. They're very pretty, Mystery. but yeah. you know, I, I, it's like, I'm not criticizing, but like, it's I'm planning, funny. I'm planning a, a gallery show, a unit gallery, only of pictures of Dave Bennett called Getty by Dave or Dave by Getty. Yeah. Yeah. The whole gallery is these pictures. That's just, just Dave. That's, that's a meme event. That's just a meme yeah. in itself. The whole yeah. event is one meme. Yeah. You know? We should get one of everyone we know and just mm. put it up. That could yeah. be quite. And also, why would anyone buy the Getty image? You want to screenshot and keep the Getty logo. If you buy the Getty, the logo but you're not disappears. You're worried about being sued by Getty. But the whole point yeah. is to see that you're on Getty. If you buy it, no one can know it's a Getty because they take out the Getty logo. Oh, yeah, that's true. Mm. Is that the case? People pay three hundred seventy-five pounds no. for a Getty. Who is actually? I mean, magazines. Or okay, whatever. magazines. Really? Yeah, okay, magazines. Yeah, yeah. okay. People like have IB, a budget. Have a budget. IB Getty pays for a Getty. I think. No, I'm sure she. Because she wants to like that own just, the Getty. That seems like a bit yeah. of a red herring. Definitely not. IB Getty has the most number of Getty on all Gettys. Yeah. It, it's a, a it's a good point. Yeah. It's a good yeah, point you're fine. raising. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I mean, what do you think of Getty? I always call them the morning after to put really? my name on. I okay. They don't like <laughs> me sometimes. Yeah. What do, what do you so mean by funny. your questions? I was just I curious if he thought it was a force of good or if I it think was. I the only thing that's gonna last because Instagram think? might disappear in five years. I did actually watch a really mm. interesting documentary about like Getty Oil and the mm. transition into like just the, the whole. It's, uh, the, it's really it's really it's really interesting yeah. how it's transition. The Getty you know. Museum and, and also it's about the Getty Museum yeah. and the family and the, and, the, yeah. and you know the tragedy yeah. of the kidnapping and all these things. Mm. But, like I actually I just didn't even. You know any Gettys? August Getty, Julius Getty. I know Ivy, yeah. she's good and friends. Isn't there any other Gettys, you know, or like just Ivy? You've been to Ivy's wedding, though? No, no, no. Vanessa no, Getty? What's no, up with her? No, Vanessa, Vanessa's not. Vanessa, <laughs> no, Vanessa no, Weibel. Like, oh, right. She's, okay. she, her mum. There's a violent Vanessa Getty. Her mum in Violet South Getty. Africa at the moment. Right. Yeah. Uh, what, what, isn't mm-hmm. there a Getty villa as well in Venice? The uh, Getty Villa, yeah, there's a Getty yeah, there's Villa a Getty, thing like a, like in Malibu, a, yeah. Uh, no, Near uh, Venice Beach. No, no, no. I think, yeah, no, it's, yeah, I think it's Venice Beach. No, no, no. no. I, don't I, don't I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. No, but I'm saying they ha- they're a big cultural representation no. in the last 50 years, but I don't know that they're very active today still. You seem to know. Yeah, they're still doing things. But if you prefer BFA, it's okay. <laughs> I don't. Oh. I don't. <laughs> I've never really <laughs> thought about yeah. it that much. Um, no, I j- honestly, I just don't really get the point of it. Yeah. Them. That's cool. Um, so um, that's why I was curious. No, no, no. Oh, for right, a yeah. social <laughs> thing, it's pointless. For a social <laughs> thing, it's pointless. But for for if you're using stock images and you're working for like kind of a yeah an agency or anything like that, it's really interesting to yeah. have not photos of people, but just yeah. you can type in photo. I mean, like I guess it's come quite reductive with AI now. Mm-hmm. With Dali but, too, you can make posters for your events with Dali or yeah. Because graphic designers are having a hard Dali Free is like a AI engine to yes. make posters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you gonna use it? So I guess oh. Getty Images yeah. is kind of lost mm. that in a way in terms of yeah. the creative field having to use their images you know mm-hmm. for stock stuff you know? are you going to miami basel by the way art basel miami i'm it's not September. No. yeah you should come maybe if you see the going? winter you're going possibly yeah pussy Riot are going um, okay. many cool um you can present yourself or you go to cover i go as somebody else not as yeah. Well. Did you? Uh, you went to the one in Korea. Uh, before Freeze I Korea, Korea. Yeah. I got Freeze FOMO. I want to be in all the. I meant to be in all the freezes around the world. Yeah. Yeah. Did you FOMO go to the Paris one? For no reason. No, that Paris, was a Basel, Paris, that was a Basel Paris, thing. Paris, yeah. Yeah. Paris, yeah. Paris, Paris thing. It's new. The, yeah. Also, there's the Venice Biennale. Venice and Miami could be the first art fairs to be flooded That's because of I climate change. That's what I meant when I said really? Venice. Yeah, because the water so sea level is up, so we can't sustain so many Biennales. All the private jets going in for it. Private PJs. PJ. Yeah, I, it becomes a party scene, like mm-hmm. what, what, what Ben and Felix mm-hmm. did. Uh, it became, I mean, 10 years ago, I don't know, like Freeze had, had an impact, Yeah, you know, an artistic impact. Did they you call read it the, the graveyard this year. Did they you, yeah, did you yeah, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. Why did yeah. they call it the graveyard? I think it's the, the Guardian, Guardian yeah. yeah. Run Star. Because it kind of... Yeah. They like, criticized Damien Hirst and the yeah. White Cube a lot. Okay, really. Okay. Yeah, and and Jerry Saltz, who is like a New York... Uh, yeah, art critic, New York. Art critic, New York. Yeah, yeah. he, he yeah. also posted mm. a couple of days ago criticizing, you know, the, the yeah. basically Tesco art market. Mm. It's just not... He didn't even paint it. And it's like horrendously expensive. Mm. So all of this is fine and dandy if you work in journalism and yeah. you want to cover it. But sometimes, you know, without being skeptical and cynical, but sometimes you feel like, you know, can we have a different 
art market already because it 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 became too commercial. Yeah. Do you think? Well, I think yeah. it. I think a big part of it is you know these 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 big galleries they rely on people who are not well maybe by saying this but like just, who don't have the best just name a few you can no, name no, who don't have the best taste but they they come from a lot of the same kind of like um taste? careers no 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 right. no so that a lot of people that are wave. buying art mm -hmm. like in, in the, no no a lot of people who are buying the art right uh -huh. come from real estate or from banking you know what i mean yeah. and they and they're buying this art as a commodity mm -hmm. right for the hotels or for the or for an investment you know right. investment property investment. market is going Probably so far on the wall you know yeah exactly it's just as a commodity and so these people that these art galleries have to suck up to these like really like people with really poor taste mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. and who have who who just who who were just Put buying it for the commodity in itself yeah. you know what i mean yeah. and so then the whole thing just kind of like trickles down that you're just supporting all these people yeah. with bad taste you know back mm -hmm. in the day i feel like people were buying the art more for the art but i feel like now it's either for because the emotion or going for the first event. day on the wednesday and looking cool and blah blah blah. and yeah. then like that's the that's half of it like you know what i mean yeah. that's why people go to it and then there's this other side of people who are just a kind of you know diversing yeah. their por portfolio from yeah. their yeah. The only art whatever, Basel you know, I in, ever in, respected okay. is mm -hmm. the Basel one. In Basel, the, Switzerland. Yeah, the Basel, Switzerland, yeah. whereby I used to work in in, in art mm -hmm. uh, market, whatever. Yeah. And I felt really that you really f see quality, mm -hmm. uh, like established contemporary, and and you see also like up and coming artists that are really like of quality. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. there is no joke there. You go and it's professional. Yeah. Mm. And other than that, I'm having a feeling that it is like you saying, it's an mm -hmm. investment, it's money, yeah. it's uh, it's catering for a specific kind of clientele. Yeah. And at the same time, it's uh, it's repetitive. Like if you go to uh, Freeze London and then you go to Freeze Same Basel, people, you meet the same people. By and the way. Uh, you see the same art. Yeah. Also, you see like the galleries move around. I mean, yeah. you know, it's like, you, and the collectors, it's like the fashion crowd. Mm -hmm. They move around now. I see Lawrence Van Hagen every time I go to Freeze Korea, Basel, yeah. Miami. I yes, always see I saw Lawrence. You went. Yeah. Yeah. But when you say bad art, it's hard to define. Because if I ask you, Felix, what's the worst art in Freeze? Maybe it's good because it's so bad. Um, but no, I mean, for me, and I just. I went for, I went, I, well, we went What together. is the worst piece you've seen? No, I don't think it's about the worst Just piece I've seen. Just tell us how bad it was. No, 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 no. I mean, no, no, I'm going to say, like, I'm going to say, <laughs> I, I spent, honestly, an hour and an hour, maybe, yeah. at actual freeze. And by the time really? of even going through one hour, just the amount of things that I saw was so overwhelming. And mm -hmm. the sheer amount of stuff that I didn't like compared to the stuff that I did like, mm -hmm. I just thought, you know what, I'm going to go to Masters, because I know, actually, that I Freeze Masters was just 10 times better than yeah, Freeze. Right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I just went straight to Freeze Masters and spent the day there. And I was just like, I could actually go down and look through kind of everything's kind of a lot smaller yeah. a lot more manageable and just a lot more better like quality stuff you Felix, know what i mean like i want to thank you so like because, i just spent the whole day there because like, you said well something i yeah. was following you your stories mm -hmm. yeah. and you said i spent time at the comment dire old maps masters. yeah yeah right. yeah what is the old maps? Masters, oh, there, there is maps a, there is a booth mm -hmm. of old maps like the first map of the world and very old maps yeah. and i went there i like you looked did for because it. of your thank thing. you okay. yeah i did i went there and i remember and honestly honestly i took pictures and I sent to you know mm -hmm. people that I know are interested that's interesting no it's mm. because it's that it's not just really art but I, it's in the same way I like to when any content I consume like mm -hmm. the books that I read are like a non a non-fiction the stuff that I watch is mainly on YouTube is like documentaries. The documentaries and it's kind of just an extension of that in the way that I like art like I mm -hmm. really like old maps I like I, 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 the, stone. 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 you know what I mean yeah. Yeah. Like, like, you know in, in Denmark do, do, do you sometimes oh. follow people from those stories I track people from those stories and try to find them like I Slatty have, Chef the chef no I have a, I have a policy that <laughs> I don't I follow them. anyone that I don't no. On well, but if show. someone posts a thing and you next next door, would you just go to see if they're actually there if they posted real time? Have you ever Sorry, met no. her? If someone no. posts a picture in like they're opposite the firehouse in the gallery and then you're in the firehouse, would you go out from the firehouse? No, I, would, I, I would maybe mm. reply to their message being like, oh, I'm around the corner, but I wouldn't just like go unannounced. Won't you go verify? <laughs> no, yeah. no, I wouldn't go unannounced. Can't like stalking. Yeah. I wouldn't I go unannounced. I would message. Weird. Like, yeah, I just want to see they were there. I don't there. have any of my friends mm. on Find My Friends. They oh. don't know where I am. They need to ask me if they want to find me. Fair who enough. Who do I, who do I, who do I find that weird? Yeah, me too. Okay, who do I have on my Find My? Like some people who put their location, I'm like, never. People lie sometimes do and you, they post late so i yeah. want to see yes. they're really there do you guys not have it okay who do i have i we have can't look at your phone on the podcast can i not yes I no can. you can you but we can see i mean the okay, audience, no, I mean, no. the audience not no, i just you. have i have i have my both okay. my sisters okay i have hugh where are they where uh, because you? i was hugh is uh, a friend of my one of my oldest friends who i was well, at ade with where is he now he we were in ade together where, is, where is, now? is he now oh now no you said oh, you're following him right now yeah oh 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 right yeah 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 i mean yeah he's in general at the office the offices of caa where he works okay that's a good uh, person to know we can pitch yeah he's an agent here he's a boss man he's okay. one of my best friends 
Um, I just think sometimes you need to verify that they are really there. Yeah. Show up. Chloe. Do you think it's like people a lie sometimes? Oh, got a black. Have you ever met oh, that nice. chef? You wrote about her. You wrote yeah. a whole interview. I interviewed this anonymous yeah. chef, slutty chef, and she, you never know who she is, but there's some identifying, yeah. like her bicycle, yeah. her outfit. She always puts a bag you, on her face. St- even stalking. I was like going chef. if I was around. I saw she was like eating in a place. So I was going to meet her. Did you meet so, her? Really? Yeah, she she didn't find it that. Weird. <laughs> ah, you found her? Yeah, I found the one. Oh, you, ah, did you, fa- you found her? Yeah. Can, can I ask a girly question? Is mm-hmm. she as pretty as she pretends to be? She's very pretty. She's like uh, also uh, developing uh, a TV show and a book, and because she's a slutty chef, she wants to. Is she going to. Which, yeah. in, the, in the TV show, is she going to have a burger face? Yeah, it's a big question because she might want to play herself and cover her face, but the producer. Or it could be a TV show. She has a nice an sense of humor. So when you yeah. went to the restaurant, yeah. did you know, was she the only person there? I was just like checking the shoes and things she posted, identifying elements. Very good. Okay, you would be a very good that stalker. Is, okay, You'd be a very good stalker. stalker. But because she's anonymous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'd be like, I would be like, who is this? But because she's anonymous, it's a challenge to find her. Yeah. But generally, sometimes if I see someone just literally opposite where I am, I'm just going to go see if they're really there and they're not lying and posting late. But you're very peaceful. I wouldn't be scared. I just like uh, yeah. saying hi. Just He's like, very yeah. peaceful. I won't post. Exactly. I don't post he in real time. He slides in. Yeah, he slides in. And so, he has a peaceful demeanor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Just to verify. Yeah. And he sits down with a recording device and oh, you're yeah. like, okay, not so peaceful anymore. Well, <laughs> yeah. You just be so I have your phone. a yeah, yeah. microphone system. Oh, do you? To record people on the go. Are you so like it's like tapped right now. Holy land microphones. Okay. And then this, if is, someone is, this is the sponsor of the show. Yeah. If someone is away from you, you give them one piece, <laughs> they sit away from you on the other side of the street. Really? You can interview them. Or oh, can, just I see, can I see? Can I see? Can I see? And you connect to your phone. You this tell them you tell them you're recording, no? Yeah. You tell them. You yeah, I tell them. I'm just, it's a but good surely, device. Surely, though, you could simply just put, sort of give um, someone an, Air, an AirPod, mm. you know what I mean? And they just do that. Surely, though. True, but this is the most expensive Amazon device. <laughs> Idea for Holy fun. But you, but you see what I'm Pop saying? You could just yeah, use an AirPod. Drop it in someone's pocket yeah, right. and then see what happens. You can drop an AirTag and yeah. you track people's luggage yeah. everywhere they went in the world, basically. Mm. I mean, people Air use tags it. Air tags are fucking dope. It's honestly. the cheapest Apple tech, yeah, I, uh, Apple device. Honestly, device. rate yeah. it so hard. Honestly, yeah. like so what do you use, already broke. What do you use AirTags for? Um, well, basically, I always have a bag on me, right. you know, and yeah. I always like to be prepared for all mm-hmm. things. I've got yeah. such a random array of things in this in bag. bag. You want to you know show what I mean? us yeah, something? Yeah, everyone was looking for his tech. Well, techie. yeah. What is this? Okay, so this is like a thing for Muji, actually. It's oh, like yeah. a... You mean Muji? Muji. Sorry, Muji. Oh, fuck off, fuck off. No, <laughs> it's a... It's a... It's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a little mini portable mint roller. And I'm not going to go right. because there's so many things in here. But yeah. Like, you know, I like to know where this is mm-hmm. at all times. You know what I mean? So you actually look at the tag. Yeah, I've got one. Yeah, I've got one in my... I leave this bag all the time. Yeah. Or if you yeah. sing someone, you can give it to them yeah. and then tell them. Drop it in your pocket. Um, it's like yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes I don't believe you are where you say you are. Yeah. Well, I'd, that's not true. Really. That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> I'll just be <laughs> saying, I, I, I said I was. Some people get FOMO if they think you're having such a good time in Lake, Lake Como. Yeah. He yeah. doesn't even FOMO. want to go to Halloween parties. Yeah, yeah you're missing Halloween. Yeah. He's saying yeah. he's going to stay at home, but he will call me. At yeah. No, 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 no. How come I'm you on the chill. board? How yeah. do you get to be on the board? I do so much. The Coco board. Yeah, the Coco board. Wait, what do you do? I don't know. Like, She's you know, a founding member I, I am, in a way. I, 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 I am yeah. a cultural connector, actually. Mm-hmm. I introduce yeah. a lot of well, people. I'm making, I'm probably helping them with supper clubs and, I mean, and, you know. Yeah, I can tell you why just recommend them for the board can I, you recommend? I probably can yeah. come to the next committee meeting actually there's one in a few weeks yeah. but they wanted what, what, yeah they wanted effectively like a queer pioneer mm-hmm. yeah. to basically promote the club to you know for more make it a more queer yeah. friendly space and sure. we they basically said would you be interested in doing this and i said yes and that's mm. fine and so Maxine and I are basically a team and that's where we come in to play. But some people say Coco is a bit elitist because of the balcony, that people can look at the performance music gig from a balcony and For not pay well, to get course, down. Well, of course, I mean, like, there's so many... It's like the old people stay upstairs. Isn't that... that that's and nothing... The, that's actually, nothing new, nothing new in London. So it's never members been clubs inherently no, yeah. are. It's never been done that the members can to. access uh, the performance from a separate door. It's oh, yeah. never been the done. The stage. The yeah. stage. No, stage. you can now buy tickets to that. But the concept was that the old members go to the stage balcony and then the people who no. pay. Well, you actually Not access the stage no. from, from okay. the dome. Right, the dome. Right. Upstairs. upstairs yeah. Yeah. So when you get to the dome and you go down. Oh, you mean Luno. Luno, yeah. Then you go down. Yeah, you go down to the balcony. That's never been done in members' clubs' history. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think it's an incredible concept what mm -hmm. they've done with it and yeah. the idea that you've got all of these different levels and rooms and yeah. things like that. And it is incredible space. So it's. Mm. Um, I just want to say though, yeah. with the backstage when you're actually when, when you're actually going to see something mm -hmm. where like live music, which we will have quite a bit, I'd say, mm -hmm. it actually is so much of a worse experience being backstage mm. when the actual mm. in structural intention of the speakers of of the, pr the well, production is for the, is for the it, it's going like this yeah. and a lot of the time you actually see us you're more cramped in this space than you are actually yeah. in the front oh, it stage and that. it's just like and it's it's a vibe to be with people and friends and I stuff mean, like last that you time know what I mean I was there yeah. was in the booth you know so no but was yeah. The booth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was the booth bitch for yeah. the night. No, but it was amazing when Albertina performed there with <laughs> Guy Gerber. Like it was amazing yeah. to be like there because I was like literally next to mm -hmm. like Paul the, the, the actual most yeah. of the time, it I felt like it, I like, it's like cramped sardines. And I like going and the sound. It's 5 p.m. Okay. We were rapping. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. What's what the name of the, comment dire, the queer uh, black uh, black person who is uh, like a producer? Musician. In Coco? No, George, and, uh, Bill, Bill something. No, not I know who you're talking about. Uh, what's his name? Bill I can't remember something. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I was cramped on the balcony. We were listening mm -hmm. to a singer at Coco, mm. uh, Lady Blackbird, and it was right. an invite. What's his name? Bill something. Bill I know who you're The guy who wears like you have to get back big to her dresses. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I don't know because we're speaking fast. I'm trying. He'll get back to you. The committee meeting you should well, have. Well, well, no, but I'm saying that sometimes it is yeah. exclusive and not so crammed on that balcony. Yeah. Yeah. And that is nice. But it is very London. And mm -hmm. Paris, actually, all the members' clubs in Paris that are opening, mm -hmm. we spoke about it, like Soho House is being very rejected in Paris because yeah, they, don't have Amsterdam. That, they don't have this elitist mentality. Paris yeah. is exactly a cafe de trottoir. I, yeah. I know, agree Paris with that completely. Paris is a yeah. street. You know, you in, me you can members' have... clubs are an unnecessary evil in London because things close so early. I would honestly sure. prefer a society in which didn't. When you go to other I think, cities, I know, I think it's just a necessity. It's just in New York, it's nobody cares about members' clubs in New York. Yeah, it's no, just, it's I just, think it, I don't, yeah. it's so much the closing thing. I think it's more you either go to a pub or a members' club. Mm -hmm. I mean, but there's not really much of a mid... I know, but it's just that like you really see the same much. people. You in see London, the same people yeah. the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. So 